What's up, Dice Crew? Keeping it a Benji, and I'm getting back with y'all. Now we got Oskino. It's a rapper from Philly. If y'all if y'all not familiar with him, you know he used to be a part of State Property. That was like a rap group, rap label out of Philly with like Beanie Siegel, Freeway, PD Crack, Young Guns, which consisted of Chris and Eve, uh, Omelo Sparks, and so on. You know, and um. If y'all not familiar with him music-wise, y'all probably familiar with him movie-wise. He played Deed Nice in the movies uh, State Property, 1, 2, and 3, right, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, anyway, we got him over there with Say Cheese, and he pretty much speaking on how he feel about Charleston White, you know? So I had to tune in and see what he had to say. I'm going to keep it a Benji for y'all during my reaction. Y'all keep it a Benji for me in the comments. Shout out to the Dice crew. Let's rock. <laughs> Even like y'all ain't the shit that boy talked said about Gilly's son is like, wow, who who let that stay up? Who put that up? I mean, yeah, how how you feel about the Charleston White situation? Um, it looks like I think I, I mean him and go ahead, go ahead, go ahead finish. Him, yeah, him, him and Charleston White kind of had a, a, a their relationship was kind of in the gray area. They always said slick shit about each other, but then a, a leaked text messages went viral last week of uh, I think Gilly talking to a, a promoter. Talking about how Charleston's fake and he, 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 he's this, he's that, and then that's when Charleston responded, I guess. But if he, first of all, he is fake. I don't understand. But I told you, the society is sissified. My era, but when I was young, somebody would have been wrapped him up. He'd been wrapped up. You mean he keep he keep on talking about like how he killed this white man and all? First of all, I read the Joe. You ain't killed nobody. He was there. <laughs> You ain't do nothing. I mean, you want to be tough so bad. I don't understand it. And I, he don't have no skills. Ain't like he a rap. He don't rap. He don't play ball. He don't, he don't, all he can do is hate on other niggas. His, his skill is hating on other niggas. That's his skill. At least Gilly, Gilly was out here rapping, putting work in, like, I mean, uh, for years. I mean, you ain't, so like, even me, like, we, we put working in the studio, hard work. What the fuck you do but get on here? You know, I don't, I feel like Charleston White definitely say some things that's distasteful disrespectful and whatnot a lot of people might feel offensive but i don't to me personally he never came off like he was just like a hater type of guy i felt like he was open and he was honest about certain type of individuals that he disliked that's how i feel about him you know what i mean and i also feel like he just don't really have no picks if you get on the wrong side of him tomorrow you know he will go off on you and say all the same type of disrespectful things that he have said about anybody else prior. And that's how I feel about Charleston White. But I don't think he's just like a total, like he's just hating people and hating on people, you know what I mean? Like in, in that type of way. Like I think he definitely got some dislike and some real hate for certain type of people for certain things that they have done. He probably really hate the actions of certain people more than he actually hate the people. But that's just me, you know what I mean? To me, like a hater would be like, I can't give y'all a name of an example, really, because it ain't it ain't came to me. But a hater to me would be like just a person that's just like anything somebody got going on, they just speaking bad about it. You know what I mean? It don't seem like Charleston White speak on just so much of everybody. And, you know, it just it is what it is. And he getting chilly now, too. If y'all pay attention, you know, he been getting his money up. He pretty much been taking... uh a leader role on this YouTube stuff for like the last two or three years. You know what I mean? He very, he really successful in it. <clears throat> and I ain't saying that I agree with everything he says, you know, however, I'm just, you know, breaking down certain things that I feel about it. So let's continue. Talk about everybody else that, that, that made some of themselves. You know what I mean? But my thing is that for your age, to be that age, talking about somebody son that passed away, it's diabolical. It's demonic. It's past... Just entertain. You know what I mean? Those, that means you don't believe in God or karma. Because you got to send yourself. You can't believe in God. So so one minute, you know, he had you thinking like, damn, he's smart enough to know better because he talk real smart, educated sometimes. But really, he's just an insecure, jealous little man. You know what I mean? Like, they talk big, tough shit. Like, you know, it's like it's like a girl. You can't be the girl in arguing. You can't be the girl. She, gonna, she not say better, hurtful shit than you. You know what I mean? So he, that's what he not do real good. He's like a girl. He not argue better than people. He not say better shit than, I mean, diabolical shit, but like, he couldn't, if he was from Philly, he'd have been wrapped up. He would have been wrapped, wrapped up. He should, a person like him shouldn't exist. Period. I don't give a fuck about arguing with him. I would never argue with him because, I mean, like, he's a sucker to me. Period. Because the shit he say make, make him a sucker to me. 
You talked about putting your penis on my son's grave, nigga. Like, what are you, are you serious? And people was laughing about it. And like, I said, this world is backwards. I mean, this world backwards. Like, they, 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 that's entertainment. And to have See, I don't think that the world have changed. The only thing that have became different about it is that everything is public and everything is on the internet. You got social media, every, you know, different platforms. So now everybody's aware of what somebody else is saying or how they feel or what they doing all around the world, you know? So I feel like, you know, now we just being able to witness these things. Hey, you, it was your kid that's this way. My thing is this, this kid did nothing to you. His kid, or right, fuck Gilly, his kid got a mother. So you always talk about this, how you so righteous, you do that. So one minute you might want to do something nice for somebody to try to throw up, you was really a sucker. I mean, period, like, I mean. And, but you know what's crazy, though? Karma is a motherfucker. But I, and I'm going to say this, you know, I don't agree with Charleston White dissing the dead or dissing anybody that can't defend themselves. You know, I'm not agreeing with that on anybody. However, we do got to keep it a Benji and say that we might not like it when Charleston White said or he said about somebody that's close to us and we just don't know him. But it's people that's like if you from, you know, if you from the gang culture, if you from the streets, if you block banging, you know, turf warring, whatever, you know, you definitely got somebody who done said, you know, um, F your dead ones the uh people that you care about you know your dead homies and whatnot and you possibly have told somebody f they dead homies you know what i mean and we listen to music and we be loving and listening to rappers who be saying certain stuff like that you know what i mean so we just gotta just keep it a benji i ain't telling people how to feel but i'm just putting that out there on the table to say like you know sometimes we might not find certain things wrong in these ways if it's delivered this way, but then we'll find something wrong in it if it get delivered a certain, a different way. It's going to catch up with him. Bro, it's going, bro, mark my words, it's going to catch up with him because God watch. You know what I mean? And I called Gilly. I said, Gilly, you cool? I was more mad than Gilly. He's like, oh, I know. I said, I said he's like, Gilly was in a meeting or something. Like, I seen that shit. I said, what the fuck? Y'all couldn't, couldn't believe he was saying, oh, I'm talking about, bro, I couldn't, I can see you saying that, you catch yourself, like, I damn, I took it too far. He kept going on and on and, and the people wouldn't laughing and like that. I said, these niggas is not men. No man talk like that. No man. I can't, I can't think of a man that would talk like that about somebody. I mean, I'm talking about even my worst enemy, I wouldn't ever talk about their son died. That's like, what the fuck? So like, to me, I have no respect for him. He trashed me. He like, he was, he like the worst person I ever think I've ever seen or heard talk in my life ever. And people really, in it, in it, of course, for his entertainment, they invite them to their platform because they get them views and all that, but that's going to play out eventually. I mean, it's going to play out because you don't have no skills. I mean, so he just, so, so what he do is, so what he do is sit back and think of the most outlandish shit he can say to go viral. And I respected that. I, respect, I don't give a problem, I don't got no problem, none of that. Say some outlandish shit, because you, you ain't got no skills, so you got to do whatever works for you. That's, that's what works for you. Okay. But then we start talking about somebody's son that's dead and they got a mother. You act like you for black people and you for this and that and this and that. That's he got a black mother that did nothing to you. That lost her child not that long ago. And you sitting there talking all this shit, you gonna do this and do that. I, I mean, you can't say that's entertainment. That's past entertainment. Them, them, them type of words get you smoked. I mean, and I ain't the type of person be like, I'll smoke you and all that. I don't talk like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't talk like that, but you you're supposed to be zipped up. That's all I can say. You need to be, you need to be zipped. You need to have somebody around you like, though, why you say that, bro? You took it too far, bro. The shit you said, Gilly did, don't, 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 don't earn this, this shit. It don't, that it don't equate? Like, yeah, it don't, it don't. It, not, nothing to equate to saying that. But I got to think, bro, though, I don't, I don't talk bad about the dead. Because they're not here to defend themselves. But talking dead about somebody's son to the, to the, to the father. What about you, that, you being able to do that, they, they, your son? You know what I mean? Then it's, uh, but like, just say it because you said you seen a text that wasn't even meant to be seen. I mean, so I, I mean, so so this guy, man, I can't believe that everybody's infatuated with this boy. That's how I know the world is not for me. You know I mean that's why I don't try to be mainstream because this mainstream shit is not for me. There's nobody that's real. These niggas, I mean, these niggas is fake, man. I mean, but I knew that when I was young. I came. I mean, this shit is fake. All this shit is fake, man. So the fans, you know, they 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 love it. They look. They love into an image. They 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 they, they buy into an image of a person that, by their songs. But the songs, you can just make up anything. I mean, so they don't never believe that these people is diabolical. Like, I mean, not saying everybody, but like these niggas, this is, like these niggas is fake, man.